Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fire Emblem's Heroes. Now today, I'll be showing off my Armor Emblem team versus the defensive battle maps. Now, the original intent when I built my Armor Emblem team was so that I could have a powerful team that can defend until the end of time. Now, originally, I would be more happier with this team, but... There is some problems with this team. Now, I don't know how often the enemies will spawn in this map. And second, I was going to have a healer in this team, but, well... My healer is half ready, and this team is half ready as well. As you can see, most of my units here specialize in doing counterattacks. Well, I guess Hector can uh, survive on his own with his renewal, but that's only Hector. Everyone else has a uh, quick repast so that they can give people a hard time in the arena. But since, well, this is in the arena and this is an actual map, and Gunther has hammer, wonderful, it's going to give me a really bad time. We'll see what happens, though. First, let's position our men accordingly. And we'll just sit here and wait. Defensive terrain reduce damage. Am I on defensive terrain? Command me. armor just to see how that works out all right let's see how much damage will Gunther do to us I mean, he's still grass type so well he deals uh, zero damage so it seems that this defensive terrain is quite powerful it's pretty amusing I agree oh wow Klein does one damage to Hector now that is terrifying despite all that ward armor he does one damage Oh lord. Anyway, good. I'm glad that Gunther does zero damage. So let's put him out of his misery. Alright, so. We have Lan Ku coming this way. We should be able to tank these following damages, but. Hmm. Let's go. We'll do it like. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What is this? Armor Slayer? You monsters. I'll do five damage. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish I have a healer now. That just would be really safer if I had a healer. But that's okay. That's okay. I'll just rely on my tankiness to hold the tide. All right, strike me. Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Twelve damage now? Jesus Christ. How big a difference it is to leave a defensive terrain. But I can't afford to let Robin hit me with magic. But then again, it probably wouldn't hurt much because of defensive terrain as well. Regardless though, Sheena will act as Sheena does and rips people's face off with Ignis. So now Robin ran into Sheena and, well, Sheena ruthlessly destroyed him. Okay, Donnell suddenly just appeared and uh, he's going to give Sephia a really hard time. So instead of letting him give Sephia a hard time, I'll just swap. Hector in, and Hector can give Donnell a really hard time. Yeah. 76 damage. Look at that. Ignis. There's so much Ignis. So many people's faces getting ripped off. Alright. As much as I like having a defensive terrain, I don't know if letting Lily Lilina hit me in the face is a very, is a very uh, wise decision.
For now, I'll do this formation, so that when Lumina does come, well, she'll have to deal with Effie instead. Oh man, though, this defensive terrain really does make a difference. I mean, look at how much damage Matthew, Matthew will now take. Very little. Huh. I'm gonna have to really keep this in mind. Anyway, so now that Lilina is here, I, uh, let me see. Terrain. Eventually, though, I'm gonna. Oh. I say these things, and all of a sudden, Effie decides to go and run Matthew over. Oh man, no! 20 damage? Uh, I should have sat in a defensive terrain. Well, looks like I lost this one now. Oh, you can even use stupid, um. Uh, what you gonna call it? Light's Blessing on this map? That's ridiculous. Okay, so now that I have a greater understanding of this, I should be able to beat this now. I do wish, though, that I had brought my healer. Still, we will continue like this. Now that I have a greater understanding, I, I, I can do this a little bit better. Alright, anyway, so we'll start off with the same setup as we did before. Defensive Terrain. Defensive terrain. We'll get rid of as many units in the first turn as possible. Whoa, whoa, what, what's the deal, Gunther? Why are you. Oh, right, I know why he's doing two damage now, because not all my units are together. Okay, so. I still have to clump them up a little closer. And I think it, I, will, I would really benefit having a healer on this team. So if I fail again, I will grab a healer. And then I'll tank and spank this map like a World of Warcraft raid. Okay, let's take care of this Matthew character. Or Matthew can take care of himself, so I guess that's not really a big deal. First though, Gunther must die. Oh yeah, that's right, I moved again, goddammit. Alright, let's see what we have here. Matthew kills himself. And now we have our favorite friend Lilina appearing. This time though, I'm not going to let her do as she pleases. First things first, let's get this out of the way. Oh, but Donnell's going to be on a defensive position. So this map really does screw up my senses a little, but eh, whatever. Move in like this. Move her out. Now, this defensive terrain allows me to take zero damage, whereas I was taking 20. Such a huge difference. Well, now with anger, Effie runs Lilina over, and now she's dead. Oh yeah, I'm Hector. I don't give a shit about goddamn defensive terrains. I'll just kill you regardless. Okay. 
So, I mean, I can probably still make this happen just by using a defensive terrain. So I'm just going to sit here like this. It's not like you're going to be able to punch through any of my units anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, you're so gutsy. Now your face is gone. Okay, let's see here. Ruby Sword. Oh, that's going to hurt a lot. I don't want to have to deal with Ruby Sword. So instead, I'm just going to play around with my orders a bit. Like this. And then Effie goes into the defensive position. hit me because what's gonna happen next is a massive bonfire in your face <laughs> oh what is this we have Narsian showing up with an emerald axe well I hope Narsian enjoys uh, Sephiel's hospitality it'll end up just like what happens in uh, in the actual game where he gets his face ripped off so we'll just uh, help him on his way by parking here Clear to death right now? Yeah, I think I should just be clear to death right now. You know you're in trouble when Sheena can do this much damage to you. Okay. Let's see. We have Drag coming very slowly towards us, but I'm not going to rush things. We'll just keep up our armor clump like this for a bit longer. <laughs> Look at that face! <laughs> Look at that face! You've got some balls fighting Cephio Narsi, and you've got some real balls doing that. And now you're dead because those are stupid balls. Okay, wow, Drog can take some real punishment. Oh my god! I mean, it's not like he's gonna do any damage, so I might as well, I might as well hit him in the face, right? Okay, next shot will take care of this. Oh, rehabilitate. Wow, really? God damn you. Yes. Understood. Okay, well, let's set up our formation. Please take care. See, now why would you hit me? Now you're gonna get run over. <laughs> exactly 37 damage. Goodbye, Drog. Goodbye. Well, and that is our foray into defensive battles. Currently, the only reward is this orb, but... Hmm. It seems that these defensive terrains are quite powerful. A little too powerful. But they're the key to doing these defensive battles. Anyway, there's another one we could do, so I guess we'll do that one as well. I was looking over the map, and there's this other one. I'll do that one, and then I'll just have my... Oh, look at that. Another wonderful map. Let's see. I guess I will just clump up my guys like this, and then swap them if they need to take damage. So unlike that previous map where enemies were coming all over the place, this map seems to be a little more... generous, shall we say. Oh crap, this formation though isn't good because... ...like this. Though the defensive terrain is going to give you some advantages, I don't think you'll do enough damage to cause me to worry. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. not even a defensive terrain can save you from the f might of Hector. Yeah, that, that's really overbearing. Why is Hector so strong? And why is Effie so strong? Okay, so it seems that my stupid um, quick repast build still works out here, even in this place, just sheerly because of how overpowering these defensive terrains are. 
Now let's park our boys back in their locations and let this continue. I'm sure these healers are going to cause me great harm, yeah. Uh, great harm with zero damage. If they had pain, they would have dealt the most damage to me since the start of this thing. Since they don't, though, they can just go straight to hell. Yeah, it seems like this map is much easier than the other one. It's much, much more manageable with units coming in from one side rather than all over the place like the other one. Alright. Though this shouldn't give me any cause for concern. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? Ninjas? Ninjas just came out of nowhere. Not a, not a big deal, though. You know, what would have happened if my units were occupying that position? Where would these ninjas co come from then? Yeah, that, that makes me wonder. I hope other people who do this can can tell me. Anyway, so let's see. We have Ruby Sword coming. We have Silver Lance coming. Rex Caliber, Silver Bow. And what is this? Pass. Oh, that's cute. Okay, alright. So the only real concern here is Ruby Sword. Though this stupid Rex Caliber could do some damage to Effie. I can't allow this. This is too iffy to continue so I'm just gonna do this and then I'm gonna do this oh wow you can reach me over here oh crap that's now that's iffy all right that's I should have double checked on the range before I uh, swapped around but that's okay I think I can manage this somehow I'll just uh man stupid Paula can do quite a bit of damage to me, but, well, I'm Hector, and Hector should be able to tank this damage. We'll just let this tactical blunder pass for the time being. Oh, but god damn it, dude. You need to die. Okay, 15 damage, not too bad. But Hector can't take much more of this. You guys, are you seriously just picking on Hector? Enough chit chat. I'll rip your face off. Are you picking on H Hector? Are you serious? Dude, look at you. You're all attacking Hector. What did Hector ever do to you? Now look. Now look, you're all dead because you decided to mess with Hector. Oh, wow. You must really want your face ripped off. Okay, Est, now it's your turn to die. Alright, whoever attacks Sheena next gets the Ignis. Oh, yeah. Alright, you know what, though? Let, let Effie have some fun, too. And now you're dead, thanks to your ruby sword. Oh, okay, I don't even think it's been a certain amount of turns yet. I think you can even just kill all the opponents that spawn, and it seems like the opponents that spawn in these defensive battles are all pre, pre-made. Well, that means that these challenges could get potentially very difficult down the line. Anyway, let's take a look, sees on the uh, rewards for this thing real quick. Let's see, I got some crystals. Clear part one. All four allies must survive. <laughs> Part 5, yeah, so you get a total of 12 orbs from doing this, that's kind of cute, that could be useful, I'm not spending any orbs for a very long time until, until my buddy Black Knight shows up, and then my full armor team will probably be realized then, I like Sephia a lot, but I like the, dark, uh, the Black Knight even more, anyway though, that's pretty much it. So, for those of you who want to know more about my armor team, they're really just the same thing. They're just close counter and quick riposte and uh, ward armor all attached to my units. Nothing really special about them. For now, anyway. I may change their build down the line depending on the situation. 
because these defensive terrains are giving me nasty ideas and I might be able to apply them in the future. Depending on what kind of um, situation comes up later. Anyway though, for now, I thank you all for watching. Until next time.